Good afternoon and welcome to Pittsburgh City Council Cablecast Public Hearing for Tuesday, March 26, 2024, relative to Bill 169. Would a clerk please read the title of the bill? Bill 169, resolution providing for the designation as an historic structure under Title 11 of the Code of Ordinances that certain structure known as Sal's Barbershop located at 712 Brookline Boulevard in Brookline in the 19th Ward, City of Pittsburgh. The owner of the property supports the nomination and there is no cost to the city. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We are joined by Sarah Quinn from the Department of City Planning. Members do have a full staff report, so you can give us the cliff note version. Most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. Um, South Barbershop is located at 712 Brookline Boulevard. It was built in 1928. Originally, it began as a metal fabrication shop that became a roofing business. Um, the family ran, a, the Garofalo family, which eventually purchased the property, owned a fruit stand and a shoe repair shop up until 1947. At that point, um, the Garofalo's daughter um, married Sal, who's a barber, and so they opened a barber shop in the place. Um, so just to take a, take a look at the staff report, this place is so loved that it's inspired art. Um, there's a picture of the barber shop, and then if you go to the flag I have posted in here, there's an interior photo of Sal's Barbershop, which is great. It's got all kinds of memorabilia in there. And then Sal's is so well known that he was the star of a billboard for St. Clair Hospital. So overall, the, the building is historic under two criteria. Both the Planning Commission and the Historic Review Commission felt that. Um, Criteria seven, which is a social history, larger, larger narrative of Italian immigrant families, intergenerational businesses. One thing that's new, unique in Pittsburgh is it's not in Bloomfield or Panther Hollow. So that's kind of unusual. And soon this property is gonna be added to the Heinz History Center's Italian Department of Oral History project. Yeah, um, and the other criteria is that it's a well of, well-established visual landmark in Brookline. Um, there's media support, which we saw in the staff report. We received a petition of over 250 signatures supporting this designation, as well as a letter from Councilman Coggle's office. So that's that's really what I have for you today. <clears throat> Thank you. And I yeah, believe sure. Sal might be Councilman Coghill's barber. I believe he is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you. With that, sure. we'll move on to testimony from registered speakers. Our first being Matthew Falcone. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. There we go. Thank you. Um, my name is Matthew Falcone. I'm here representing um, Preservation Pittsburgh. My address is 417 Lockhart Street, uh, third one five two one one two. It's been a real pleasure to work with Sal and Lynn on this nomination. They're both under the weather, as am I. I couldn't make it in today. But um, it, it's really been um, a real treasure to be able to see how beloved this institution is. Um, it's not just a barber shop. It really does knit the community together. And uh, Brookline together, the community organization has been in full support of this and kind of instrumental in kind of helping this nomination along. And I do want to Kind of acknowledge uh, what Sarah had said earlier about the petition um, to have this landmark. We've never really seen <laughs> this much of an outpouring um, for such an institution. So I, I wanted to thank uh, both Sal and Lynn, uh, Brookline together, and of course Councilman Coggle for being supportive of the nomination. This is a really special piece of Pittsburgh. Thank you very much. Our next registered speaker is Yvonne Brown. I do not see Ms. Brown with us today, so I exhaust our list of registered speakers. If there's anyone in chambers wishing to speak to this, please come forward, provide your name, neighborhood. You'll be given one minute to speak. Good afternoon, Special Agent Sunshine. First of all, let me return to sender. 100 trillion times any 
voodoo black magic spell sent towards me right now. Let me say this prayer. Father, thank you that you are creating me as a masterpiece down to the smallest detail of what I need to fulfill your plan for my life. Thank you that you are chiseling and shaping and bringing me into completion. I believe that you are removing everything that is not the true me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for removing all the evil that has been in my life all my life. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Any further speakers? Seeing none, I believe that exhausts the business of this public hearing, and this meeting is adjourned.